If you guys wanna learn how to create this awesome pixie haircut, then definitely watch today's video. What's going on YouTube, Steven the Salon Guy here. So today I'm going to be doing a new pixie haircut for 2019 and I think it's gonna be the year for shorter hair uh, for women. I, I just, I don't know, I have a feeling, but something a little more like edgier, a lot more layers, a little bit like of a shorter shag type haircut. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to uh, create that haircut on this mannequin head and we're gonna do some kind of breaking stuff down. So it's gonna be kind of like a step-by-step. -step. So let us begin with the haircut. So we're gonna start in the back for the first section, right in the nape area. And what I'm doing is I'm sectioning off the four quadrants, basically separating the front from the back. So you just wanna push this out of the way so we can clearly focus on this area right through here. I'm not using any clips. I'm gonna work very efficiently. And all I'm doing is just combing the hair out of the way. And then our first section and our first area is gonna be right down in the nape area. And the same thing with this. I'm combing the hair out of the way, just like this. No clips, because I wanna make this a little bit easier. And I wanna work more efficiently. Now what I wanna do is I wanna leave a little bit of length. I wanna create kind of like a pixie, almost shag. So we're gonna leave a little bit of length throughout the back here. And all I'm doing, literally with one hand, is I'm just cutting this straight across. I'm not using any tension. I'm not using any sort of, uh, I'm not holding the hair. It's all freehand. And what I'm going to do is we're gonna continue to do this throughout the entire back, comb everything straight down, and just basically in one shot, we're gonna get rid of the hair, do this on both sides, and then we'll be done with our first part of the haircut, which is the base. So if you comb all this down and you don't see any hair whatsoever that you need to cut from the guide, then it's time to move on. So I'm just gonna go back right here, skim any little pieces that I see right here, and this is the most important part, is establishing the base. You can't have a good haircut without a good solid base or foundation. So let's clean this off here, and then we'll talk about connecting it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle my fingers pointing upwards this way. So I got it locked in pretty tight, and we have to also visualize where we're going to, you know, what the end look is gonna look like, right? So we know that we're gonna have a shorter haircut but what I really wanna focus on are the layers, okay? The layers throughout this entire haircut. And you wanna make sure you're standing right in front of where you're cutting. Really, really crucial with a haircut like this. So here we are coming around the ear area. And take note, I'm not cutting around the ear. I am leaving a little bit of length right through here, as you can see. So it's about right to the bottom of the ear. And then what I'm gonna do is comb here and start to angle my fingers upwards that way. I'll take one last section right here. There you can see right there. And I'm gonna cut straight down like this. So we're literally creating, you know, a face frame. And then right in through here, I like to comb the hair straight down with the comb, not my fingers. And then let's take this last piece right here we're gonna come, come back and probably tweak this a little bit. And all we're doing is creating our foundation, all right? We're creating a nice foundation, working all the way through here, a nice rounded shape. And what we're gonna do is the same thing on the other side, and then we'll come back. All right, now that the foundation is complete, we're going to actually start with our first section, which is gonna be right in the top back of the head right here. Now, the only reason I wanna do this is because, and start right here, is simply because I have a vision for this haircut of what I wanna do. And I think that I wanna start here so I can then connect everything to this one piece. All right, so I want this to be the main focus point of the entire haircut, which is right here. All right, so when you're creating your guide for this type of look, it's imperative that you set this up first. So what we're gonna do is now I'm going to stand like this, 
right? I'm facing this way, so my body's positioned to cut right in front of where I'm going, where I'm standing. And all we're gonna do is pull everything straight out from the head, and we're gonna cut to that one piece. This is gonna be the easiest part, I think, of the entire haircut. And as you can see, I'm breathing through this, right? When you get into this corner area, you don't wanna bring this out this way, like out, you wanna keep it relatively behind the ear. So you're keeping some of that weight, which then you can go back and, and tweak after you're done, okay, with the, with the back. That's part of the sides. So all I'm doing is following my guide of everything straight out from the head, and I'm gonna actually work downwards. So I'm starting from the top and I'm working my way down, okay? All right, this is done right into this area. What do we do next? Pull the hair straight out from the head, as you can see, and we're gonna cut straight up. So this haircut literally is just following the head shape, keeping a very consistent pattern. Pretty simple to follow, okay? Again, right in through here in this corner area, you don't wanna extend it out too much this way. You wanna more bring it back here like this towards you. So we leave a little bit of that weight in the corner. Here's that corner piece and I'm bringing it back towards me because I'd rather get rid of that weight knowing that I have it afterwards. So now we're back into the center again and we're gonna work from the center towards the other side. So let's skim through this and then we'll come back when we're done and ready to move on. Okay, now I'm going to tilt the head a little bit this way and here's where I'm going to cut palm to palm, just so I can get a little bit closer to the head towards the nape area and remove some of that excess weight again in through down here. Now, I'm not looking to cut the bottom length, which is down through here, because again, I mentioned I wanted to keep it a little bit longer, but all we're doing for this is removing some of that weight. That's what I want to do is have this free flowing and very soft and textured. So again, I'm not looking to cut the length, but just remove some weight. So here now I'm switching up, going palm to palm. My body position basically has been in the same spot <laughs> this whole haircut. I really haven't moved. All right, here is where I'm gonna hold everything out horizontally to cross check. And if you do see any pieces that are like really, really uneven or really off, that's could be a sign of a few things. I think you may need to go back in and check you know, your body position, check your tension. Um, if it's a couple little pieces here and there, which is normal, then that's totally fine. Don't be, don't be worried about that. But if you're getting like really, really uneven sections and things are way off, you may have to go back, you know? And you can snip it off. If you see if it's like one piece, then that's fine. But if it's like this whole section from here to here is a lot longer than definitely uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that. So the back now is pretty much done for the most part. And here is when we connect the back to the top. So here's our, was our guide right here. We have to connect this to this, right? It sounds fairly simple, but don't get ahead of yourselves. What you wanna do is you want to continue to follow the head shape like that. Right? Remember, the head is like this. You don't want to take a piece right here and cut it without a guide horizontally. You'll create a, a, a line. You'll create a whole new, another section, which is not what you're looking to do. So what I like to do is continue to follow that roundness. And I even do this with my long haircuts, is I, I continue to follow the head shape all the way when I'm connecting the most crucial parts. Okay, so now we have all this blended here, and it's time to now work horizontally towards the front. And this is where we can start to move towards the front of the head because we already have our established guide. So I'm gonna comb the hair straight up. There's my guide from underneath. My left elbow is up and parallel, and we're good to go. So I'm combing everything straight up within this middle section right through here, going from the back to the front. And it's fairly repetitive and, and somewhat simple as long as you follow 
your guide and you keep, you don't start dropping your arms this way. Body positioning is really, really, really crucial when it comes to hair cutting. And I like working right down the center of the top because guess what? That's the top of the head. <laughs> you know, there's the top, the corners and the sides. Right now I'm focused just on the top, which is where you should be. All right, so now it's time for the corners, which is right here. Hold everything straight out and then we cut. So let's skim through this. And then when we're done, we'll start to work into the bottom, the sides. Top's done, corner's done, and this is the sides, right here. This isn't the sides, this is the sides. So I'm gonna stand in the same spot I've been, and I'm gonna comb everything straight out from the head, and I'm really gonna focus in right on this area, so you can see right there. You can actually see it, all that long hair, you know, and on top of it's the short hair, so that's what you're cutting too, is to match that up. You know, you really, if you simplify hair cutting and you really break it down for what it's worth, you know, it's like putting the pieces of a puzzle together. There we go. And there. So what I would do now, which I'm going to do, is I like to always cut a variety of different ways. So right now I'm switching up the palm to palm because there may have been, you know, an angle I couldn't reach or a specific section or the hair wouldn't really comb right. Um, so don't be afraid to switch up your hand positioning or body positioning to kind of uh, jump on this haircut here and really be, I like to say aggressive because you're really being thorough, okay? You're really, really taking your time. You're covering all ends. You're seeing how the hair will fall in all different, all different ways. So that's why it's imperative to do that. And it also, it really is what gives a good haircut, to be honest with you. All right, so that side is done. We still have to do the corners and the sides. So let's breeze through that and then we'll come back for the next steps. Now what I like to do is just cross check everything. So I'm gonna cut this vertically now from top to back just so I can make sure that this is all cut properly. Because if you don't do this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a lot of weight in through here. Now, it's, I guess if you want that heavy weight, that's fine. But really what I'm looking to do is just to create uh, balance, you know, just to make sure everything is really working seamlessly together on top. Because what is that gonna do? That's gonna ensure a very good long lasting haircut which is what the client wants and which, which is what you should do, you know, as far as, uh, as being a stylist. This is where you can really be aggressive, hold the hair out multiple different angles. I do this with a lot of my men's haircuts too, is I really try to go over the hair as much as I possibly can, look for trouble area, problem areas, just to make sure like, you know, oh, well this, may, this could happen or that could happen. You know, almost like I'm, I'm tr looking and forcing errors in the haircut even though there may not be, but by going through all this, it really ensures that like, no matter what you do, it's still gonna look good. All right, now for the very, very front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my feather razor now to add some texture to the front. All right, so when we're doing this, and this is why I left this front a little bit longer here, and I'm gonna go back in and do some more texturizing throughout the sides. But what I, what I wanna do is I wanna really make this very edgy, okay? So the best way to do this for me is to just go in, take pieces of hair, chunks of hair, and just kind of use the, the razor to slide down on it like that, all right? That's what this tool is for, is to create a very soft, jagged edge, which is what you want. You don't want this to be a perfect straight, you know, big clump of hair right on her forehead. <laughs> and also keep in mind, you know, we're working it down and blending it into this part here. So make sure everything you cut it's all gonna be connected. And if you have to pull the hair out, that's fine to check for any longer pieces. Do that, don't worry about it. All right, so now we're gonna work onto the other side. And if there's like a side part or something, you just gotta really, you know, when I say eyeball it, this is where you do, you eyeball it. You stand right in front of the client and you really just go to town and you really 
have some fun here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that like, you know, you have your, your, your game plan, your, the end result, what we're, the look you're going for, how edgy we're going to make this. So I wanted to create a lot of texture and jagged pieces and some, some like this. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Something that can be fun, something that she can really piece out, some edge to it. And that's exactly what I got, just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow dry it and then come back and texturize it even more. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with my thinning shears like this, and I'm going to just go in and twist and cut. And what this is doing, it's again, adding a little more texture to the haircut. It's adding some, uh, some more definition, which is gonna allow you for more pieciness, more texture. You know, I always love doing this. This is like my favorite part of the entire haircut. I wouldn't suggest doing this if you're trying it for the first time on a human. <laughs> Definitely try it on a mannequin head first. Be very, very careful that you don't cut yourself because this is uh, something that is a little more advanced. You have to be very comfortable with your coordination, your hands and your scissors and stuff like that so that you're, you're not gonna hack away and lose a finger. So as you can see, what that's doing, it's just creating, you know, I'm not looking to thin the hair, but what I'm do looking to do is to create some more softness and texture throughout the entire haircut. And if it's too heavy in some areas, then you'll be able to see, you'll be able to feel it, you know, and that's kind of what we're going for. And now we're getting that response uh, of the haircut, which is what we want, you know? The response of when we touch the hair, we move it, it's gonna respond exactly how we want. See, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So now uh, I'm going to style it and then we'll come back for the finished look. All right guys, here's the finished result and let's break down again. What we did is first created and established the perimeter length down throughout the bottom, angle it up on both sides, then literally held everything straight out from the head after I created my guide right in through here, pulled everything out this way, changed hand positionings, got into the bottom so we get nice and close, then checked it horizontally. So we really have a nice balanced even shape. Then connecting here, the back, with the top going towards the face. And once I had established my guy, then we cut everything horizontally, work down the center panel first, right in through here. Then after the center panel panel is done, right down in through here, then we went into the corners and the sides on both sides. Again, pulling it out from the head. It's probably about, I'd say, two and a half inches in length throughout all in through here. Then blow dried it and then went in with the razor, the feather razor to create that nice textured fringe area. Went back in with the thinning shears to create even more texture. And here we have the finished result. Now, as far as styling goes or products, you can use talc, which is my matte styling spray. But this is the haircut that all, the haircut is gonna do all of the work. You can literally wake up out of bed, put no product in it, and this is the kind of look that you're going to get. All right, YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell so you're notified of when my video goes live uh, three days a week. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this helped you, you know, if this is a new look that you wanna do for 2019, because I love to know in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more videos with Islamic.